Robert, one of the things Coach mentioned on Friday, just with students being gone for break, is that the team's going to have to create its own energy to do well against a tough rider opponent. How well do you think you all did in that department tonight? Um, I, I think we did outstanding. Um, you know, for, for nobody to be there because everybody's on break, you know, we kind of used our own energy, and the bench was great, um, and it helped us get the win. Marvin, you got your uh, second start of the year, I believe, tonight. Um, just filling in and sort of filling that void for Renzi with him uh, being gone there now. Just, I mean, what was your, I mean, what was your mindset like going into a game like this tonight, knowing that you know there was some slack that needed to be picked up both offensively and then on defensive rotations? Uh, well, my mindset hasn't changed. I just just bring the energy, just bring the energy for the guys, and I I, I love to play defense, so just bring the defensive toughness. And just the offense just carry over, just playing well with, with these guys. For any of you guys, uh, what would you sort of attribute to that that twenty four two run down the stretch there? At how, how were you able to kind of exploit their weaknesses? What, what were you doing well during that stretch? Um, one thing that we harp on at practice and we make it a big deal is we call them kills. That's when we get three stops in a row, and, and we we got a bunch of kills and a bunch of stops, and so that led to offensive transition. And so. Just getting easy buckets is really what, and stops and easy buckets in transition. Uh, they, did they do everything you kind of expected them to do coming into this one, or uh, what facets did they bring that you feel like you combated best tonight? Uh, coach, coach gave us a great prep for the game, and, and we were all we all knew what was coming, and we, we knew how to stop them, and we knew what we needed to do to win the game. Um, for Marvin, you guys shot 51 free throws tonight, and you made 15 and 16. Did, did you guys feel like this was a team that was going to send you guys to the line a lot? And was that, was that a point of emphasis during practice? Well, Coach, Coach can't um, preach that. They foul, them guys foul a lot, so we just try to drive the ball hard and just try to get fouls. And we practice free throws every day a lot. We practice free throws a lot, so it was just came the second nature. Did it also help to have a kind of a long layoff b between the two games, eight days, and you guys were able to rest and, and really study this team, kind of unlike uh, some other teams where you have only two or three days, maybe? Yes, it was a nice job doing film work, uh, doing the reports. Uh, but guys here, we just we want to play as soon as we can. We just love it, love the game, love the high pay, love the tempo, and just love the energy. So we was ready to get out there as soon as we can. I think you had a sequence there where, where you, you had a dunk on one end and then a block shot on the other end. Can you talk, kind of talk about those those moments? You, you had a few dunks and some, some of the, the moments that really kind of instilled energy into the team and, uh, and really brought the bench to life. With a dunk, uh, my teammates finally me. Ro I remember Robo found me. Uh, just basically just energy, like I said, the teammates finding me and just me just being, just bringing the energy. It just that's, just carries on. The box carries on. And then for Robo, playing without Beyonce Daniels, the most experienced player here. I mean, what, what does that do to the team? And then how did you guys kind of work around that? And then who kind of stepped stepped into the leadership spot there? Oh, well, you know, having V down is, is a big blow. Like you said, he's a senior. You know, he's been through this, and you know, he's got a ton of experience. But you know, our, our motto is, you know, next man up. And you know, today was today was Marvin. So, uh, you know, hats off to him. And you know, um, hopefully we can get Beyonce back as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. CJ, both on that 24-2 to scoring run in the first half, then the 11-0 run to open the second half, the team seemed to be a lot more you know, patient with its shot selection and, and in control and transition. Is that a point of emphasis at all this week, just taking that's, the ball inside? That's just how we play. And, and we can, when we can play like that, we're a hard team to beat because because our flow is so good and, and we know how to find each other and we know not to we know how to look off the good shot for a great one. And so when we can do that, when we can play together like that, the sky is the limit. And then, you know, perimeter defense was something that got brought up after the Montana State game last week. It looked like it was a step in the right uh, direction tonight. How would you assess the team's effort there? Um, I think just, just from the start, you know, we came out ready to play, bringing energy. And like, like Marvin said, it's, it's the dunks, it's the stops on defense, it's the steals. It's all, it brings energy and it helps everybody. We all feed off that. Being six and zero at home now, you know, even with all the students on break, is there something about playing at home that you guys can notice? I think I think there's something about this building. Uh, we just feel so comfortable here. And we play great here, but we got to take that on the road too. It's a cool thing. <laughs> and, and then one more for Robo. Can you just kind of talk about this week? A lot of things happened that would have maybe gotten another team down. You lose by five at Montana State, Orenze transfers, and then you guys learn that V isn't playing. Can you? Talk about the morale of the team and how you guys kind of got through everything this week. Uh, I think our morale of the team is uh, very positive right now. And, you know, every every team is going to deal with adversity in the season, and you know, um, I I hope this is our only bump in the road this season. Um, but you know, it probably won't be. But you know, now we um, have the blueprint of what it takes to to fight adversity and, and overcome it. All right, thank you, Ray. Thanks.
ですけど。